Hello, I'm Michael Willems and I'm going to tell you a few things about setting up your uh, D-Link DCS 5020L camera if you don't want to use the D-Link service. Uh, now for this you'll need a little bit of knowledge of TCP IP, in other words routers and things like that, but not a lot. Uh, it's really quite simple and this thing works very well. It actually works uh, out of the box as a web server. You do not need the D-Link special service. If you know a little bit about what you're doing, here's how it works. First, you connect your D-Link camera to your router using the supplied Ethernet cable. You wait for them to synchronize. It takes a few seconds. Of course, you've powered it up as well, I hope. And then you go to your existing router, log into it as an administrator, and check the status of your um, connected computers. So on this particular router, a D-Link router, I go to the status screen and I scroll down until it says LAN computers. It has a whole bunch of computers here. and One of them is probably going to be called something like D-Link camera or DCS 5020L. Um, if not, just note down all the numbers and try them one by one. Because once you've noted down the number of numbers, what you're going to do is you're going to go to those numbers by just typing them into another browser window. Forget this stuff after the IP, you just type the IP, so for instance 192.168.168.0.101 could be a number that uh, this camera uses. And when you get the number right, it asks you to log in. You log in as user admin without a password, and you now see this screen here. You see this screen that you're looking at now, and in particular you see the setup portion, where you go to the network setup, and in the network setup you're going to select static IP address, and you're going to select a static IP address of your choice. That's a static IP on your LAN. For instance, 192.168.0.20, which is below the range of DHCP addresses, so it won't be double issued. With a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0, and the default gateway and primary DNS are your existing router, probably something like 192.168.0.1, or it could be .1.1. .1 .1. You can change the port. I did change the port. Normally web servers are port 80. Uh, I made it 8080 simply because it, I don't want to make it too simple and uh, my provider, for all I know, may stop access to port 80. Once I've done that, so now I've set up what IP address this thing will have so it's predictable and it'll always be the same. I then go to wireless setup and if I know the name of my network, my uh, wireless network, I enter that name here, my SSID name. If I don't know it, I can click on Site Survey and find it. And I put my password in here, uh, where it says Pre-Shared Key. And once again, I save settings. I'm now done setting up the device, in essence, so I can now unplug it, move it to where it's going to be, plug it in again, and it'll be wirelessly connected. To test that, you're now going to go to the same number that you just issued, and you add colon 8080 at the end if that's the port you chose. So if you port, if like in my case, you chose 192.168.0.20 with a port of 8080, then you type that IP address, colon 8080, and you hit enter, and once again you get the password prompt. Login is admin without a password. And once that's working, you should be able to click on live video and you'll be able to see your video. And I'll turn the audio off. So otherwise, you get double audio. And now you can move your video by clicking on the little arrows and so on. So assuming this is all okay and you've got your camera working and the web server working, you now have a few more settings to do. Um, in particular, you want to go to maintenance. And in maintenance, you want to... Um, uh, give yourself a password. So the old password would be blank and the new password is whatever you choose twice. You can also create additional users. They will only be able to see the video. They won't be able to do the admin. So this is a good option. But um, the password option here is broken in the current firmware. If you issue a password, it won't work. So it'll have to be without a password. You're basically done. In setup, you can now go through the other setups. Uh, you can define predetermined positions for your camera, so it's easy to move. Uh, you can set time and date, and what I would do is I would use an NTP server. So you click on Synchronize NTP Server, select one of the D-Link NTP servers, or your own. I'm using one at the University of Toronto. And you enter your time zone, and then you click on Save Settings. 
and you're done. So we now have the device set up and uh, you're basically good. The only thing left to do now, however, is this. You now want to make sure that you can access this uh, device. And so what I did is on my existing router, I created a um, demilitarized zone for this address 192.168.0.20. So everything that goes there to my static IP um, is taken to the camera. So that's how you do that. Uh, you can do it in other ways as well, but this is a good way to do it, uh, this demilitarized zone. Uh, I won't take you through that now, because if you know routers a little bit, you'll know already how to do that. All right, that's how you set it up. Uh, have fun and enjoy this camera. It's a great toy, and I'm uh, finally sure what my cats are up to when I'm not home. Now I can actually see what they're up to. I'll turn that audio off again. All right. Thanks, and come back anytime.